Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dear. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Even Patreon for you, all your full-length interviews. But definitely, YouTube membership. Y'all love what we do, so go ahead and sign up for our membership to show support to our brand. Because we love all y'all, and that's why we keep doing what we're doing. Oh, we love some of y'all. Some of you niggas in the comment out y'all damn mind. Y'all gonna stop talking to me any kind of way in them comments. I'm not gonna play with y'all. Uh, we work hard for the money and they never treat us right. Y'all heard the song. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101 in the building. One more again, man. We got some very special guests, man. Uh, Tony Will Rich is back in the building. Bob Supreme, the Bob Report King is back in the building. What's happening? What's going on, man? What's up with you? That nigga Bob Supreme is in the <laughs> building, man. Listen, man, I don't know how many times I tell Bob. They be like, man, I always tell you come back on this show, don't I? I be like, yeah. you got to come back. He don't even be, he ain't even pushy about him. He always trying to do something for everybody else. That's why I cut for him. Mm -hmm. And we ain't never had no flaw that we, we couldn't get over. We never let our problem be bigger than us as partners, man. So I had to do that right quick so niggas would know where he stand with me. <laughs> Let these niggas know worldwide. You know he what I'm saying? He always in the mix somewhere. Yeah, he always in the mix, man. So we gonna get out of business. You know, I heard about the trip. I seen pictures pop up online. You you jumped up, you know, cause I really, I really, to be honest with you, when you first came at me with the openly gay uh, rapper, Crip, all gangster that. Gangster rap. Gangster, gangster though. And all that, I really thought you were tripping. And I really <laughs> didn't believe you at all, nigga. I was like, that nigga tripping. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, even in the comments, was talking about, nah, he pretending, nah, he doing this for clout, nah, he this, 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 this. I was mm. reading a whole bunch of those. And and then they look up, and I'm standing next to Crip Mac. Wait, you, oh, wait a minute. I'm Man. trying to bring it in there. I'm, not only you standing next to Crip Mac, but you at the Mecca where all the gang members be at. This is the member. This is the Mecca. Mm. This was uh, in L.A. What part of L.A. was this in? So um, I was in... Uh, Inglewood. I was in Inglewood, LA, and we had went to No Jumper. No Jumper is like where everything goes down. It's like a big podcast, kind of like this one. And okay. um, <laughs> we went to the podcast, and uh, that's where all the gangsters was at. All the gangsters was there. I was around so many gangsters and like so many like celebrity gangsters and celebrity. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Celebrity Crips, some celebrity, <laughs> well, some celebrity pimps. It was some celebrity pimps in there too. Like it was just a lot going on. I, I felt like I was just at the BET Awards. It was yeah. just amazing. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. the thing I tripped out off of, I never would. I didn't even see it coming. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't. I ain't know you were going up to Cali. Mm -hmm. You know, cause that's the mecca for where the banging started at. That's and the I, I, gang I knew you capital. had said you had been up there before. Mm -hmm. But then when I see you up there. You you not only up there, but you taking pictures. I seen the pictures. The video ain't came out yet. I can't wait to see the video. Yeah, man. because the last time when he said he was up there, he wasn't up there dealing with no celebrity, you know, clips and all that. He just went up there and the, the incident he talked about. He said he just got some mail. He knocked on the door and he mm -hmm. got his mail. <laughs> this time in Compton. In Compton. In this Compton. and made it known who he was when yes. he did. But he this did. time he went ahead and you. Traveled there again, mm -hmm. and this time you got some pictures, yes. videos, and all. So, how yeah. did that relationship come up? How did you end up even making getting that call or mm -hmm. anything like that? So, um, everything was going around. I was going viral with the Crip stuff, and then um, the No Jumper interview came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. They was like, "Okay, we want you to come out." You know, they called me up and was like, "You know, bring your ass." Mm -hmm. I brought my ass. I hopped my ass in a Lamborghini. I was rolling around there in a Lamborghini. What? Like a Lamborghini. Mm, a Lambo. What color? Purple. Mm, purple. Okay. You were flipping yeah. the purple Lambo through where you was at in uh, Mel uh, Melrose. Where were you at? Orange County. Ooh. Orange. Who, who was in the passenger side? Um, uh, my friend Bree. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. My friend Bree was with us, and um, my management was with me as well. Okay. And uh, one of my homeboys had came with us as well, and we was in the purple Lamborghini. So. 
I just feel like that I'm just not to be fucked with. <laughs> like, you know, like I'm riding around through they hood in a purple. Not being Lamborghini. camouflaged at all. Not no bulletproof, no nothing. So, you know, that's how I feel. That's why I just know that I'm just I'm just that gangster ass nigga. But how did the Crip Mat thing come about though? So wait a minute, wait a minute. I, Cause I, that's the part that tripped me out. You was on you was on the set with Crip Mat. Uh-huh. Now you is a five deuce hoover. Yes, I had on my orange. And, and he knows that. And he had He saw that. He got Hoover oh, okay. Killer on his head. On his eyelashes. <laughs> How did y'all manage to stay in the same room without being confusion? If you gripping like that, everything man. Was so, well, okay, so everything was very respectful. Like, you know, uh, the only thing that I didn't like is that he kept on banging on the table like it was a drum. I was like, is this a table or a drum? He kept on banging on that motherfucking table. And I just, you know... I was like, I'm just gonna just get through this. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do anything to disrespect nobody's other hood or nothing like that, you know, because I I want I didn't want to go in there like that. I wanted to go in there being respectful because I don't really care about what color anybody got going on. I don't care if they would have came in there with red. I don't care if a blood would have came in there and sat down. I was just happy to be there, mm. you know. So um, it, he's a very aggressive person I'm not gonna lie Crip Mac is a very aggressive person uh, he showed us his tooth his tooth can come out like Christian Rock's what? you know Christian Rock he can, so he got a container he, yes he has a detachable tooth on his teeth a portable veneer mm. and he took it out and showed us a portable a, wait a minute you say Crip Mac had a portable veneer? A portable veneer. Detachable kind. The kind that you could just snap in and snap out like Christian Rock. Yeah. He just didn't have no pitch on his. That's and so so how did the conversation come for him to even show you that's what he have? He just said, because, did he show you? Uh, what happened was is uh, he was talking about the stuff that he didn't been through. We was both comparing each gang stuff that we didn't been through. I was telling him about how I didn't shot stuff up. He was telling me how he didn't shot stuff up. And this was all at No yeah. Jumper Spot. Yes, this was okay. all done. Wait a minute. And then y'all just sharing like moments. Yes. Like like moments where y'all had to put some work in for your crip ability. Exactly. exactly. Yes. He was telling me the stories about stuff that he didn't been through in the crip world. I was telling him stuff about what I have been through in the crip world. Okay. And we was talking about <laughs> it. And me, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I really felt like by his stories I felt like my story was a little bit better. Wait a minute wait a minute so you think your cripology but he but he he real pressure though I ain't gonna but lie. why you feel but like he, your stories are better? Cause like I didn't you know like remember I told you last time I was in a shootout. Right. I was in a shootout all the windows in the car got busted out I was in the car with all the windows getting shot and stuff but I survived it. Okay. Now him he told me the story about how he went to jail and they all jumped him and shit and that's how his tooth got out came about uh -huh. about why he had to get a tooth portable right. veneer me no i survived did not have to do that i was okay i did not go to the hospital did nothing happen to me like you know but he but that, i, I applaud to him though like because i i like that story though that was a good story i liked it listening to his story but you know i'm just saying that you know my gangster your you know. cripping and your your gangster cripping yeah. is on another level than crip mac well, I, 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 crip? he but no he's been really been in some stuff though i've been in some stuff too but i'm just saying like with the tooth that that's how the story came about okay. about the tooth he, he took out his teeth and put it right back in <laughs> because even when i think about crip mac and stuff like that and the things that like you say and the things that you do I remember when he got DP'd, so it's like that stuff, it can get real, real. Mm -hmm. So even with you being a crip and the things that you say and do and whatever, mm -hmm. do you think that it might be any consequences down the line? Because what happened to him, it didn't just happen overnight. It happened later on because of something he did. Uh, he the ba Basically how the story went was is he was in jail in L.A. County and he was getting into it with some people in the jail and, you know, he didn't want to back down because mm -hmm. he wasn't in the protective custody me automatically they're gonna put me in the protective custody is what they was is what he was saying if i ever go to jail in la i'm gonna have to go to protective custody why because i'm gay oh okay. yeah but he didn't have to go there because he's not gay okay so me i wouldn't have to go through that they're gonna know to put me somewhere else so you know i would never even have to deal with no stuff like that so that's what i'm saying yeah well the thing is you gotta understand whenever you see two big crips on pictures 
it kind of make people look like, damn, they linked up. Like when they seen OG Percy on the picture with you. Mm -hmm. Then you went from OG Percy, now you're on the picture with uh, 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 Crip Mac and, and Brick ba Baby. Brick Baby. Baby. Yeah. Brick Baby, that's his name? Oh, Brick yeah. Baby. Oh. Brick Baby. Now, you, is he, he cripping too? Oh, for sure. So, I mean, uh, you talking about Brick Baby? Brick Baby. Okay. So how you, was that conversation? Cause he you, was I, very nice. I really enjoyed my conversation with him. He was very respectful. He was more respectfuler than Crip Mac. Really? Yes, he was. <laughs> I I actually, he had a little bit more common sense. You know, like, you know, Crip Mac, he cool, but, you know, he's just a little retarded a nah, little bit. No, but the nigga gave but, you a, 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 one of his uh, 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 old English. I seen you drinking old yes, English. had this buzz oh, all oh, over you. Oh, you know what? The, you, the nigga gave you an old English or he, something. He mm -hmm. did bring me gifts to the table. He brought me an old English and he brought me a Subway sandwich. <laughs> but that something. nigga to get you on top of his old English, that's different. He don't share that old English with and nobody. I ain't never also, really seen that. We was having a conversation about getting chipped. Getting chipped. What is that? It actually means getting killed. But I got hungry when he said that. And I was like, chips? Where's some Lay's at? And he pulled out some Lay's chips. And I started eating chips at So no you junk. didn't know what chips was? I chips. didn't know what getting chips. chips. Get he chips started talking chips. about chips. So, uh, right. you know, I just <laughs> automatically just thought that he had Food. another gift. And I, lo and behold, he brought out some chips. Some Lay's <laughs> salt, lightly salted chips. And then y'all you ate chips together. I ate the chips by myself. Oh, he didn't eat no chips. <laughs> he, he gave just me a gave subway me. sandwich too. And sandwich. I had a subway sandwich. So this nigga, oh, he ain't gonna lie. Grit, bearing gifts up there. He did, but I don't eat nothing. I, I I don't fix my subway sandwich like that. I ain't gonna lie. But but did you eat it? I ate it. I did. Okay. But I do not fix my subway sandwich like that. He had tuna and shit on there, and pickles and onions and all that. <laughs> that nigga showed you love up there. Yeah, no he did. I know, but I just next time when I go, I just really want him to do turkey, mustard, and <laughs> ranch, and that? salt and pepper, <laughs> and Italian bread. He had wheat bread. Damn. But healthy. I do appreciate them gifts though. I fuck with you, Crip Mac. I will get you a Big Mac next time I come out. Well, what, what, where was Adam 22 at? Because he's been going through it lately. We don't know where he at right now. He was too busy auctioning his wife off, I think, again. So. No! Yes. I think he was auctioning his wife off again. He's still know. out there like that? Yes. Mm hmm. That's what he was doing. Well, that's what they some one of the producers behind the scene had told me. Mm, so wow. I had yeah. So so I but I was looking forward to seeing Adam Twenty Two though. I really was. Adam Twenty Two is into a lot of stuff. Man. He is. <laughs> He's a little different than most. Yes, him and his wife. Mm -hmm. Him and his wife. Yeah. You wanted to meet them both. I did. I really thought that. I, see, I didn't know where I was going. I thought that I, they they told me to come to No Jumper, and when I got there, I could have sworn that I was going to sit down with No with uh, Adam Twenty Two. Here come Crip. Baby and Crip Brick, Mac baby. and uh, um, and uh, <laughs> all these Crips and a, a pimp then came in there. Uh, it's, it, his name is Shark. Yeah, I know Shark. Shout out Shark. I like the way he get yeah. out though. I, I just see the show. Lie. I like Sharp, Shark, man. I'm a, let I'm a, me tell you what Sharp was given. Sharp. Sharp. It gave. Let me not get a hate crime. Or let me not get canceled. You change voices on me? Yeah, he just, he just me, switched your voice up yeah, on me. Oh, switch it to my... Uh, the male voice. My, my, male, my, my masculine voice. Yeah. He was like... You do that sometimes. Yeah, it just yeah. come natural. I got my bitch Tony, lit Tony, and crypt Tony. Depends on what you're talking about. Depends on what I'm talking about. If I'm talking about... If I'm more than likely, if I'm giving an explanation, we're on the crypt Tony. Yeah, now, which one is your natural voice? Natural Tony is the bitch Tony. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. So, so go, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's get so into it. So let me tell you. Uh, so the person that was... <laughs> <laughs> the most quietest in the interview was Sharp. So I'm sitting there and he asked me his little two questions, but you know, it's just like he was like, Oh my god, let me get this over with. Like it just gave like let me get this interview over with. He was snacking on his Fritos and shit. He ta we taking pictures. He eating Fritos. He would not put them bag of Cheetos down. So he asked his little questions, but you could tell that he really had some more questions. But he was like, uh-uh, let me not get canceled by the LGTT folks because you know what happened to the baby when he said mm -hmm. that stuff yeah. and his career was damn near over. So Sharp was like, uh-uh, that is not going to be me. I'm going to fake it until I make it. But you could tell that he really probably, with it. probably felt some type of way about mm -hmm. it. Brick Baby, uh, what, the one y'all talking about, the one with mm -hmm. the Brick Baby. He was very respectful. He was very respectful and cool and stuff. Crip Mac was just being himself. That's that's what that interview. You know, I rock, I rock, I rock with Crib Mac. Me and Crib yeah. Mac have talked on several occasions. Yeah. Um, like like you know like uh, he's uh, he 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 has a he has a brand, mm -hmm. and it's a very well known brand. Um, he sell clothes too. 
Yeah. No, he has a brand. He himself, he's a brand. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, so, uh, brand ambassador. There you okay. go. So he's a one, he's a guy who you know to see you get with him and hang out with him and have a conversation with him and take pictures with him and drink old English with him yeah. and go and eat uh, what they what they subway sandwiches yes. together. Mm -hmm. You know, this was big. For, yes, you I know, had so much fun. Cause, and and I never seen that coming. So Supreme, let me ask you something like. I know you know everything to go on. Being a, being a manager, now you done taken on a role uh, with uh, the first openly gay, first yeah. openly gay crip gangster, though. I have to say that part. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> gangster, though. Like, like what, what, how has this experience been for you different than other people that you've managed in the past? Uh, it ain't no difference. It's the same. Uh, they was all stars and Tony a star. So I treated his, um, I like Tony. I, Tony is cool. Uh, Tony is respectful. Tony take care of business. And shit, it, I look at it the same. It's all the same to me. Yeah, Tony a star. And it, that's pretty much it. Just like the rest of them, Tony, yeah. So I look at it the same. So, okay. A lot of, a lot of times when you you when you dealing with something like this, because I've had issues. You know, when I first started interviewing uh, openly gay uh, guests on my show, I've had three, but only two came out because mm -hmm. one of my videos got messed up. Mm -hmm. This is a new experience for me. I'm very open and honest about it. I had to talk to my wife. Say, man, you know. This something, you know, it's, it's tough on me, but I know God love everybody, so I don't trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that guy. Like, I, I'm so open and upfront. Everybody know how organic I am on this show. Mm -hmm. So when I look at things, it's like, okay, I'm dealing with this. And it's like, okay, I have family members that, that, mm -hmm. that I have dealt with this with. So it's something that I've been prepared to deal, you know, prepared, prepared to deal with. So I just want to ask you, like, how is it for you, like, the flack that comes with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people knowing, oh man, he, he oh he, he got it, uh, the LGBTQ, uh, he managing them now. Ain't no flack. Uh, I didn't got a few calls, but it's, it's all been with respect. Um, I look at it like, if you're not, if you're not, if you minding your own business, then Tony shouldn't offend you. He mind his own business. He he living his. You know what I'm saying. That's what he. That's how he get down. Um, that don't bother me. Mm -hmm. So, shit. Like I said, it's all the same to me. I have a question. So, um, what I was gonna ask is, um, Supreme, you're the manager. I know a lot of people always say there's a differences in managing a female rapper compared to men because females are more dramatic. They're more this that. What men are a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> with Tony. So when you think about you know so a male that's gay, you, they have like female tendencies, but then they're still a man. So how is that different? Um, my the the female artists that I've worked with haven't given me any trouble. Uh, the the male artists that I work with, if you want to call it trouble, or them just being boys, you growing into young men, then you know that's what it is. Uh, Tony. So you get more trouble from the males than oh, no the females. Oh no doubt, for sure. Uh, Tony is is is. Uh. <laughs> Go ahead, tell it. She, Tony, like both. Mm -hmm. So you know, say, but I don't even. It ain't even like no no category to me. Just a, me? just a person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, definitely. I was just wondering with the tendencies, you know. When you think about male versus female and stuff like that, that's the reason why I Tony asked. doing push ups every day now. Mm, Getting really? ready, yeah. Yeah, and doing uh I have a personal trainer now, so Oh, you trying to get taking my uh, career a little bit, yeah. I'm trying to take my career more serious now. So every day is work. Like every day we doing something. Supreme got us yeah, at an interview, if we ain't at an interview, we in the studio. If we're not in the studio, we doing something and contributed. Shooting a video. Shooting a video, uh, shooting a reel, doing content, doing something to be most successful in the entertainment industry. You Now that you say that you was on that out the bar, after the bar, over the bar, <laughs> yeah. and around the damn bar, <laughs> you was around a bar. 
and, and, and I had hand paint on my show, and I didn't get to ask him about it, but it was a lot of people talking about this segment yeah. where you was going wild on at, at this bar. And he was standing behind you, and he was rapping. He was, I don't know what was going on, but it was real different for him. I forgot my lyrics, my wig came out. Oh, uh, dang, man. What, so <laughs> what, what was that like? Did it even come out yet? I seen it. Yeah. On your page, I see you posted it early, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, How was that? Okay, so we got there. I On the way there, we stopped at the liquor store. I drank a little bit on the way there. What you drink? Patron. You like that Patron? I do. And so when, when you drink it, what'd you do? You went over there, you said, I'm going to turn this so thing out. We, we, I was drinking it on the way there. Then I drunk some on the way to the door to go inside the club to behind the bar. Then I drunk some liquor there at the bar, mm. in front of the bar. Then I had I reached behind the bar, grabbed some more liquor, and start drinking some more liquor. Mm. Then I had my homegirl go to the store, go, I mean, go back to the car and bring the bottle in the bar. And drunk some more liquor. Damn. So I completely just forgot my lyrics. I was sloppy. I was all over the place. My eyes was so damn wide. I looked like I was doing more than drinking liquor. Like I just, I won't never do that again. That was so unprofessional. So I gotta apologize to all the people that was watching. Well, I, lesson you, learned. Lesson yes. learned. I, I mean, you listen to everybody in the industry. Don't over drink. Don't over drink it. That is never. I know that the drinking is what helps us get a little bit more excited and get in the mode. But when you overdo it, no, it, too much of anything is good. You just need a little bit. Are you gonna go back and do it again, or, or mm -mm. you you ain't messing with the bar no more? Mm -mm. <laughs> like, wow. There was so many big people in there watching me. Solo Lucci was in there. The Yellow Beezy, Mike Fresh, the nigga that did the stanky leg. Everybody was so you felt embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was in there looking at me. So I was nervous and I was drunk and I just forgot my lyrics. Three things. <laughs> and my wig came out. <laughs> Shit. I look, was looking like Day Day off of Players Club. What, 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 whatever movie that was, he playing on. So you got to go redeem yourself. I might. I got to come out with a hit, another hit song. You know, I, my song came out, Fuck a Nigga. And then I got the A Bitch Could Never song. But I need another song. Like, remember I told you, I got another little Crip song I'm finna come out with. Damn it. You know, I see, uh, you know, you, you very, uh, they picking you up everywhere. Pop, pop. Vlad TV. You, you was on there today or yesterday. I seen today. them pop that thing back up that picture. Of you, Crib Mac, and the Brick Baby. Mm -hmm. Now you just was on there the other time with OG Percy. Mm -hmm. This man has millions of subscribers. Millions of people are seeing you. Uh, I mean, he's putting you up there. He's, he's showing you love, trying to say, hey, man, you know, he done posted Boss Talk before. Big yeah. up. But at the end uh, of the day, it, I mean, OG Park. It. Person, yeah. No, but I'm talking about I'm talking about Vlad. <laughs> Vlad. Oh, Vlad posts. You know, he he have you on his story on the news line. Somebody over there posting the hell out of your picture, yeah. <laughs> and, and and really putting it out there, which is a blessing. But they and, will not let me come over there. Well, it probably in due time. In due time. Everybody you gotta keep working. Yeah, yeah. He, he watching. No. In a minute, they ain't gonna be able to deny you the way you acting out here. Cause you next, I don't know who who you gonna be with next. Who they gonna see you with? Cause. OG Percy, did he ever, I mean, y'all took that picture together and er everything was cool, right? Yeah. You seen him after and that? And then he got on that Facebook or uh, Instagram or live or something and he was saying, oh yeah, I didn't know and I didn't. He didn't know? He lied and Yeah, because I hear something like um, Supreme tricked him into <laughs> oh, um, taking oh, a picture oh, with you. That's what I heard. not. He told Tell me people. how the pictures even took play because it was like he got slicked into that situation. No. Oh, hold on, Tony. Not. Hold on. You, you said what now? It was like he got <laughs> slicked into that situation. Oh, so you, you, you think a nigga can slick Percy? Well, I don't think so. I know G Percy. You know he come over here. You oh, know. Okay. Uh, so I just want to ask you how it happened. <laughs> that way I can get it all the way out there. Um. Uh. So I had did the interview with the Bob Report in real tune first before I did anything else. Right. And I did the gay crip stuff. Now, mind y'all, I told y'all last time that this is not the first time that I came out as an openly gay crip. I did this three years ago with Half Pint Films when he shot my I Guess She Mad video and everybody had them blue bandanas around our head. Right. You were cripping back then. Yes. So you been, you were born into this, yes. really. I told you, my granny was a crip, my great granny was a all of us was crip. <laughs> everybody <laughs> crip. So. But it's different when you do an interview compared to just put out a, a yeah. video. I know, but when I came open with it to the world, that's when everything took off. Right. But, 
mind you, I've been doing this for a long time ago. This is not something I just woke up and decided to do. So, um, Half Pint Film released that, and then I came up with a new song and put the little Crip stuff in there. OG Percy did a follow-up interview after he saw that I was a gay Crip talking about it, saying good stuff. Remember I told y'all yeah. he said it was okay. Then, um, Supreme has said, hey, I'm, I'm over here uh, doing the... Uh, that was after you had been on here. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, that was after. I think so. It was right after because I was okay. like, "Damn, I didn't because I didn't ask you about it." But I flipped it in the scenario because I seen it happen. Oh, okay, yeah. well, yeah, I, I, it happened right after this. Probably like the next day. Probably or the so. next day. Or so I'm like, the nigga done went over there and got with her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what happened was because I, when me and you talked about it on the show, it was because he had spoke about it on a video. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought it up on the show. Mm hmm. It, I, but then after that, y'all went on Solidify and took the pictures. Mm -hmm. You had the blue bandana, on, I mean the blue do rag. Oh on. yeah, I did tell you this. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm telling well, you what yes. happened. Yes, okay. Thank God, so everybody can see that. All five <laughs> of these cameras saw that. So the thing about it is, he knew I was gay. He knew I was a crip before I even came and met with him. Mm -hmm. So Supreme said, "Hey, you know I'm over here at, at uh, OG house," and I was like, "You oh, trying to talk like me?" Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> that, that's how he said it. Verbatim, that's how he said it. The tone and everything. So I was like, send the, I was like, ask uh, OG, uh, can I pull up? And I heard him in the background. He was like, yeah, or, or whatever he said. How he talk? You know, he sound you know crazy. So <laughs> I got in my car, drove over there. I thought I was going to the south side. We didn't even go to the south side. We went to the east side. So we pull up over there. I get out. He was happy to meet me and stuff. Like I said, he shook my hand, gripped it, you know, Hold like it. the firm grip man. Y'all didn't see lock or nothing? Oh, yeah, we did that first. Yeah, y'all, how you? I, okay, so I only know how to do the first part. The okay. First, you do it like that. Yeah, this. yeah. So, so when you tell me, because I don't know you, how to you, do it. You do it like this. That, okay. Then you come right here. Okay. Because I don't know how to do that, it. But you came in like that, hardcore, yeah. with the crib side. But you didn't finish it. I didn't, I just, I just, we do the hug. You know, you go in for the, <laughs> you know, the, you, the, the, the little, little So hug, you hug, you kind of came at him with yeah. the hug. And yeah. then once you hugged at him, you did, you did, y'all did the signs. And, yeah. the, you know, it's it's a lot. And man. then he, <laughs> he shook my hands, did the, because, you know, I don't like doing that. They be saying you're supposed to grip a man's yeah. hand when you shake it, but I don't like And look doing, him in the eyes. I know I don't like doing all that. I'm how do you do it? I'm gonna get somewhere else. So how did you when you when you shook his hand, you just kinda you throw your hand out there like that? Just a wreck cause like most men, like you know, if I'm giving them a handshake or most boys or whatever the case may be, they just gonna go on and get the little little respectful handshake out the way. But him nah, he finna He old school. Go go <laughs> damn try to break your hand. Damn. So he did that, and uh, we took our pictures and stuff, and he was, it didn't feel no type of way about it. But cool. I don't know why, you know, people don't need to judge OG <clears throat> person because he, he he being respectful. He doing what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to judge nobody. Don't come in this thing faking it, acting like you just so homophobic because the statistics say you're not supposed to do this or whatever the case may be. Most of y'all motherfuckers don't even read the Bible. So, not y'all. Y'all read the Bible. <laughs> but I'm talking about all these people that in the comments and stuff. Y'all don't even read the Bible. So, y'all up here trying to judge somebody. Let Judgment Day come first. You know, so they did. I don't like that when they do that. He didn't judge me. And I don't feel like nobody else in the comments should either. But you know, them comments going to do what they're going to do. You can't yeah. control them comments. That's why, he, that's why he said I tricked him. Because he was in them comments. Them comments got it. Yeah. Yeah, the comments. He, or maybe he got a call. He you can't get know. no calls. Do you know how many rainbow rainbows I done been called and rainbow lokes and rainbow cuz and, and cr gay cripping and all this, a twitch cripping and all that shit? I've been called a lot of different things. You didn't, I, that didn't stop me from being who I am. I still remain the same person. I didn't change up. You didn't switch up. Yeah. But Paul Paul dimension and kicked in and forgot that I was a crip before he met me. So. <laughs> So, what's next? I mean, you know, you, we see you. So, is the music next? Uh, can, what can we look forward to with your with, with the way you're moving on? For either one of you guys. Okay, so I have a um, a film that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, that's going to get ready to come next. And that got something to do with a little bit more. Now, the thing about it is, I'm going to do my... Should I even say that? Should I even tell them about the uh, the video? What video? The no, video no. I'm getting ready to do. Okay. Management Ooh. said I can't talk about the video, Ooh. but... F for Baby Daddy. Is fuck that baby, oh, the Fuck a Baby Daddy video song dropping that I did day with uh, my homegirl. Did you, did you guys see that? That I've been promoting? It's a song called Fuck a Baby Daddy. 
And the only reason that I'm talking about fuck a baby daddy is because I'm trying to like kind of like show a little bit of other stuff. I don't want to just show everybody my gangsterness and my cripples mm-hmm. and all that stuff. We need to talk about some other stuff. So I was I came up with a song called Fuck a Baby Daddy, and that's getting ready to come out. We filmed that with Half Pint Films too, mm-hmm. and featuring I featuring Barbary. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh yes. yeah. And I played Bernie Mac. Oh, really? wow. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Brie, I, c- c- come here. I got a question, though. I got a question. So, um, I know that before in our previous interview, you were talking about um, that you weren't interested in females. Right. And they just didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> but I found out today that you have a son. Mm-hmm. How did that happen then? Are you here today? Okay, but making I, all that noise back there. But how did it mm-hmm. happen if you're not interested in females? It takes a man and mm-hmm. woman to have a baby. So what happened? So I did a um, ghetto at home in the closet uh, baby making program. <laughs> um, my baby was born uh, by doing a kind of like a turkey baster procedure. So we did a at home procedure. We didn't do the expensive IVF. We got we d- went you know. But they have all types of different. Because you, how you get it in there? I'm I'm gonna get to with it. a turkey baster. For example, do you know how? Really? I'm gonna I'm gonna you, explain you, you to did you. It like with the now, thing. a lot of people don't know this, but they're. <laughs> 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 and he was even surprised too. Let so, me hear this. This is so, good stuff. I ain't know y'all. How you do a ghetto? Let's go. So Why? you know, like you might be saving a lot of people some money. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save y'all some money. So you know how. You got when you get pregnant mm-hmm. and you and you want to get an abortion mm-hmm. and you don't have really have the money, so you you know them people that do it at home in the basement and stuff. So I, don't I don't know, know nothing about, about that. that. <laughs> well, if you watch Seedly, I mean, if you watch Color Purple, I did, and you saw how she went to the a- alley and got her abortion did in the alley. Did you, you know what? I was not on the no, there. I mean, four color girls. I mean, four color girls. Okay, <laughs> color girls. Yeah, thank you. Cause I know I, I'm like, damn, crazy. Who went and got what? Did, did you want to see it? What sugar Avery? Who, what the hell are you saying? So go ahead. I mean, color. I mean, uh, four color girl. So, did you watch that? Y'all hell no, I ain't watched it. Plus, this girl that had to go get an abortion in the alley. She okay. saved some money. She didn't go to the doctor. So, which is dangerous. Y'all do not do that. But this is not dangerous. Y'all can do this. So, all you need is a baby mama that's willing to be willing to do it. Participate. That's willing to participate. Her husband okay. has to be willing to participate too cuz he participated. He participated. So, uh I went I went over there. <laughs> I went over there for a couple of days and um they had this little syringe that they wanted me to put stuff inside okay and sperm yeah okay yes semen and what'd you do you went in there and did it yes and, and then then i brought it back out and i gave it to her and she put it up her ass and that's what happened and that's how my baby got here damn and, uh, you know you it has to actually get in there Right. So you can't just put it up there. So after that, her husband fucked her and and, he- and helped her get up in there and stuff. And then that's how the baby. Damn, man. I ain't never heard nothing like that. I never heard nothing like that either. But if that's the case and her husband had sex with her afterwards. He how has you a vasectomy. So- oh, so it can't be his. Yes, he has a vasectomy. And um, I did a DNA test on my baby. I did the one that you could do while the baby while you're while pregnant, pregnant and I had we went all together and got one and then I took the baby by myself to go get a DNA test with me and just him and all of them was 99.9 so okay wait a minute was it your choice <laughs> you wanted to have a child did you have to pay him yes they needed some money at the time and that was did you get point. a good deal yes why did you want a child because it was really like a joke at uh, it was like really like a joke at the time. Okay. It was a joke at the time, and like I really didn't think that it was gonna work. I was just doing some <clears throat> shit. I thought her husband was cute. How much did and, you pay? Um, I just liked being around them. How much did you pay? It was twenty thousand dollars. Damn, that nigga walked off with that wife was pushing it up. But you know, it cost, but it you cost know. way more. You saw the, the ladies who came on here. Yeah, 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 they got We've 60 had surrogate some moms. Thousand. For real? And yeah. it was $60,000. 60000 for That's how much they yeah, get paid for. 50000 and 60000 What? Yeah. Oh, and if you carry twins, so you, got you get cheap. charged more. Yeah, but see, mind y'all, I re- when, I, when the baby, when, she, when I found out she was pregnant, I was like, Wait a minute! Like, this really worked. Like I was just doing some shit. Like I didn't really think that the baby was gonna come. Had you already given them the money? 
No, I gave it to him when the baby got here. Mm. And after the test to know that it's your child. Yes. After all that was done, I was good. And the baby came and he been living with me. So did you have full custody? I have 100% custody. She has, she see him from time to time. It ain't even like a thing to like where I'm keeping him from her. But like, you know. Yeah, because she, she's still a mom. Yeah, she do her thing and I do my thing. And I, we still friends and I see them all the time. And whenever I go over there, the baby come with me. Sometimes I leave him over there. I be wishing she would take his ass. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> Say, so you really did that, man? I mean, wow. <laughs> that is shit, crazy. I ain't, never, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life on Boss <laughs> Talk 101. You yeah. done shocked the world. Yeah. Boss Talk. No word. <laughs> you did that at, I mean you just did that Over the house And it was the black market mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We actually got some of the material Oh let me be quiet Where did y'all get this idea from Like anybody else out there Does something like this No uh, But I mean I I don't it, it can happen I mean I'm pretty sure Maybe somebody else Has done it somewhere But I actually You know it's something That people talk about But you you know that thing That you talk about But you really don't Never do This one of them things mm. But I went ahead And did it I didn't I mean I, It's not my dream To be a father Like I didn't like Oh my god I have to have a baby Like I just want A child of my own No I was not trying To be that But you know it, it Stuff just happened and once you became a father, um, what does that do for you? When I became a father, it didn't do nothing. Our baby is just here, and we raising him, and he gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> Already, man. Look who just up. Mama, there go that man. <laughs> she coming, too. Uh, Mama, there go that man. He here, man. Solo Lucci is in the building. Somebody said he was on the way. Y'all let him in. Oh, let him in. Oh, what up, baby? Up, my man, man you back at home, nigga. Man, I'm here. You see the real? Hey, when the real nigga show up, it's going down, Come man. Oh man. Say, man, because I'm gonna be honest with you. I had to get you on here. You know, I ain't never. I just heard some things here that I ain't never heard in my life. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure this out, like. You know, this guy right here, man, Tony Will Rich is wow, man. And he from Fort Worth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Fort Worth thing, you know, is deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, bring her on up here. Might well get on right here, right now. Her lips yeah, okay, but I'm going to tell you something, man. Uh, the talent is uh, the talent is different. I ain't, no, I ain't never see this one coming. Now, he say he from the South Side. I don't know where the Crips hang out in Fort Worth. <laughs> On South Side. I don't know. He say he's a South Side Crip. Have you known this guy? Never met him. Look how he look. So, man. I think you got some music out. Tony, Tony be rapping. <laughs> Tony be rapping. What I'm gonna say is, what I'm gonna say is, you know, I came up at a different time than Tony. So you know what I'm saying. I can't. I, I don't personally know Tony. I met him recently. He seemed like a cool dude. Said he funny as hell. You know yeah. what I'm saying. He be, yeah. he seemed like himself around when I be around. You feel what I'm talking about? I met him through Supreme. Everybody know yeah, me in Supreme. Yeah, Go yeah, back. Yeah, That's Supreme. my boy. We got history, anything Supreme basically be working with. I'm with him. Yeah, you, know you, you rocking with. I, I, yeah, that's my guy. Now wait a minute, who is this that showed up? Y'all and she cute too. What, what? What the hell is going on, man? Yeah, the biggest Bree. Bree. Why Bree? <laughs> man, this is somebody else that you manage. Yes, sir. You know, people have really, really tried to really uh, 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 come at you about your managerial skills, to be honest with you. I've always been a supporter. I'm the coldest out here. Right? The, I've always rocked with him. Yeah, thanks. Because I knew, like, the things that we talked about, you couldn't make those things up. You couldn't be in those rooms. You can't be in a room with P and QC and all that. Mama, uh, what's her name, Deb, and all of this. You can't do all the stuff that you talk. Go, yeah, yo, and then you tell me about the story about him. Everybody come in, even Kenny B. Everybody had a, a, a piece of dealing with you. K Breezy. K Breezy. Uh, the other boy, too, uh, uh, the Mexican guy. Throw that say. Throw that say. Like, I mean, there's some guys that think that, 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 that they got the game and gone with it. It's been a few guys, man. I ain't, I ain't you know. Say their name. Well, you know, Rainwater, he he definitely, uh, your name seemed to come up every time he's on the show. You cook ain't rain. Yeah, so basically he said, you know, he was. I told him you was, you and. Uh, you talking about drain water. <laughs> I told him y'all was pretty much, you know, you was working with Tony Weary. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. So it really wasn't nothing bad, but he definitely, he, he definitely, he's one of those managers in Dallas, man. So when you rate yourself as far as your managing skills, what do you, what do you bring to the table that these other managers I'm don't? I'm the top. 
What make you Why the you top? Looking like that? Cause I'm trying to figure out what make you the top. You gotta explain that. I mean, you, you just, just say you that. just named the, my track record. You feel me? And I don't, I don't, I don't do a lot of talking. So, um, it just be results. You feel me? Yeah, which, which I can thing? interpret. Want me to tell you a couple of things that are good? Ah, fuck out of here. What they be saying about Supreme? No, no. I'm going to get into you know it. Which I about this bow here. So, right so, go ahead. I want you to interpret. Then I'm going to come to you. So, wait. What was the question again? Oh, Lord. <laughs> like, what you said you was going to really pretty much give me some, some great qualities that oh, he yeah. brings to the table. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, Supreme, you know, he got a, like I said, he always got us working. If we ain't in the studio, we here at Boss Talk or at other interview places Correct. or at the gym, working out, making content, traveling, doing all type of stuff. You see, we just was in Man, Supreme up. consistent. That's what Supreme yeah. got on. Supreme got on in this. He persistent. He consistent. Regardless of what you think, he doing something. He working. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a lot of nigga problem. They're not working. You know what I'm saying? They talking. Yes, yeah, sir. like other managers, like you know, they don't be doing that. They be all they artists, is they be either like sprung out on drugs somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he go say it. He go put uh, it out there. End up dead. <laughs> oh shit! You know, just anything, <laughs> just all type of stuff. He got the the scenarios to go with. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, so it's like you know, Dream, none of his artists has been through stuff like that. So you know, they either like switched up. You know, or either he still fuck with them to this day, or they didn't switch up and did some unloyal stuff. Like you know, you'll you'll get a manager and you'll be nobody right now. But then when you see your stuff, your career rising and you forget where you come from, and then the loyalty shit starts switching up, and you be like, and then other people come in your life and be like, oh, but I could do this, 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 and that for you. Do you know how many people then tried to come and make me work under them, or or, or be, or for them to take me on as a, a artist or whatever? I don't do that because I didn't get where I met until I came. With, until Supreme put me in the door to all this different stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust nobody else with managing my career. That's all. That's just that. Bree, go ahead, Barbara. I really want, I want her to sit right here. She you sit, you right sit here. over there, because yeah. I, I really need to hear her. I need to get, I need to get her story too. Uh, Steph, she's pregnant too. Yeah, she's pregnant. So that we finna get I all the way. Baby mama alive, you see it. <laughs> She love. Yeah. She too hey, love. She gonna up? talk that shit. <laughs> so, she I gonna mean, talk that shit, I, 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 I This is our you. first interview together. And we I see it. And we be coming out of this fucking thing. Man, wait, wait a minute. Now we got with me interview the damn thing now. So you you basically, it, and it's Bree. You, you, I, you an artist. You sing, you rap. What do you do? I'm really, I used to be a stripper. I used to pop pussy, but I became a Christian, so... You know, I don't do that no more. And I started making some different type of money, so I retired. And then Tony, I just heard how he be doing his little music, and so I be bored. So I just went to the studio, and I'm just harder than these bitches, so I might as well take this shit seriously. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like that, that you are so confident. I want to talk to you, uh, Solo Lucha, because you know what it takes. You've been in these rooms, you've been in these places, you got songs with Chris Brown, you got songs with all type of people. You've been down there in New Orleans doing videos with all the damn Cash Money members. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're all on love and hip hop, all the accolades that you got. Yeah. Uh, what are some things that 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 you can give us far as for the venture that these guys are about to experience if they make the right moves and make the right key moments happen? Uh, I think for anybody that does it, they got their own original path. You know what I'm saying? It's, it ain't no one recipe to doing it. I mean, it's a lot of key components to it, but one of the biggest things is believing in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And stand and stand persistent. Like I said about Supreme, that's when anything you do, if you working when they ain't working, you gonna outwork the ass. You know what I'm saying? If you and and this shit gotta be in you, it ain't on you. You know who got this shit and who don't got this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? I ain't finna play with people. You know the fuck. You know if you trash, nigga. You know if your ass can't rap, you know if your ass ain't no star. Some people just got it, some people don't. So have you heard some of my music? <laughs> I mean, I think in 2023 music ain't what make you a star. I, now, now if you ask me, do I think you're a star? I could say yeah. Because yeah. you're cause, cause, cause you just brave. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and right now, that's a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I can say. That's big. I, I like that because you, you See, were I'm straight up with it. Everywhere I go. And everybody keeps saying you brave. I love it. 
Crip man said that too. Yeah, it's Crip oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. I don't know nothing about none of that. Yeah. Yeah, but, don't talk but to I this just, my mouth. Solo, you a Crip, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I got my the Crip real. right here. Real. So, I just want to know. And I'm next to my Crip. Oh, I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just him. Like, Can't be free OG again. Shout out Big Funky. Yeah. yeah, shout out Big Funky. Rest in peace, baby J. See, like, y'all sure. see this? Like, y'all see how, like, y'all need to be able to accept me now. Like, it's uh, that's over with. Solo Lucci is accepting me. That's just that. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you got to understand, man, that we in a different time and a different era, man. Really, I agree with what you just said about the music is an element, but the brand is way more important, Facts. right? Facts. So it's like the all-around brand. Like, I seen you. I didn't hear no music. I just seen you. Mm -hmm. I, in the way you acting, in the way that stuff matters, bro. Mm -hmm. And you can tell from that. like you Real star, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can tell just by the way that you're the way that you approaching the situation, online presence, all that stuff yeah. matters, bro. So I mean, so what do you expect to give from the game or give to the game? So me, like I'm, I'm I do like rapping, like I'm fucking with it, but I'm not finna be like the other bitches that really be rapping about nothing. Like I like to talk shit. That's my that's my lane. I do that every day. This is me, so that's more of what I'm gonna do. Like, however I'm feeling, I'm gonna talk about it. So, wow! So you don't mind? You ain't biting your tongue at all? For no hoe or no nigga, nobody. Well, I mean, when I seen you, you was pregnant. I'm trying to figure this out. You come in the game I'm pregnant. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. Out. I don't know if I seen nobody just come in the that game. That might be yes. the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got you a, you got a, you got a, you got a red pregnant. pregnant rapper and a gay bitch friend. <laughs> Man, I never what heard of the combination before. Yeah. I'm saying I ain't never. Red <laughs> ain't always bad, out, gang. I'm rich. I'm rich. I get money. I'm rich. Red. I didn't say nothing about the money for it. You yeah, know, but you, you like definitely you ratchet, ratchet, baby. It's different. A hundred percent. You think ratchet, like ratchet is. What you talking about? Oh, my God. I Come never. On, you I, never thought you was ratchet? Yeah. Nah, I get a ghetto. Ratchet is, that's too hood. What, what is Every the definition of ratchet? Every woman you was a bitch huh? today. What? <laughs> it don't matter what her name was, she was a bitch today. But I ain't ratchet is just dusty. Nothing like, else but Ratchet bitch. is when you go to the, the Fina and them hoes, they be having them old ass mesh granny slides on with a little oxy ponytail at the top of their head. That's that's ratchet. one component of that's being ratchet. Component. I'm gonna tell you, baby, it's a whole yeah. lot more. You might think I'm ghetto. This ghetto, no, but ratchet ghetto. You can't tell me my vocabulary what the meaning of my words is, girl. Wait, wait, so you don't want to be ratchet? I ain't ratchet. It fuck so what you I think ratchet be. feel bad to you? Okay, and so if that offended you, no, I'm then, never offended. Okay, well, you ratchet. But that what? But oh, like, 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 that what was that, what was that song that too. say? Uh, I'm uh, hanging out the window with my ratchet ass friend. That's her. That ain't got shit to do with me. But you know what? I'm ratchet. I feel like money. Them hoes was like, yo, we not so talking. Like saying, so Glorilla was looking a hard, a hot she, mess. She good now. But it, when at first she come off. Yeah, that's not me. We two different. Nah. So you came in the game. Like, I'm already her. Coming through. Mm hmm. What is what is what is the big accomplishment? What the hell is you uh, popping in college? Pop What's wrong with yeah, managing friend. popping college? Pop the shout, you saw it, nigga. These niggas stupid. So so you telling me that that you gonna rap? You you got any music out right now? Anything that mm -hmm. you do? Me and Tony song finna drop official music videos finna drop tomorrow. So yeah, we got that. I got an old song in 2019. Like I've been doing this shit. I've been in the the love. Not a rapper, but I've been in this field, this lane. This nothing new to me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And and so you you like rap and you're gonna rap. You're gonna do some other stuff too. I'm I'm pretty sure you about to have this baby. Mm -hmm. How many months are you now? I'm eight months. Ooh. Nine months, no, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Once you, once you lose, you gonna lose the baby fat, or you already been working on. Baby, we talking about baby fat. You're my third one. <laughs> this your what? My third one. What? You, you wouldn't even thought that. Like, <laughs> ain't no snapback. Tell us you know so. Tell us you know so. Ain't no snapback. So we already there. Snap. I'm already pressure. Yeah, it's gonna pop right back. Yeah, exactly yeah. what you doing. Mm -hmm. I like that, man, because I, I love the fact that you are confident. Mm -hmm. Your confidence is what gonna make you win. Mm -hmm. You know, am I right? She that called. confidence. When she you come in too, confident. She know how to pop it too. I just got a chance to spend about an hour around her earlier. Yeah. And I just watched her pop it. Uh -huh. She all. 
Oh, yeah, she don't no, she don't pop that shit. Like she know how to talk. She got a mouthpiece on her. Yeah, she he know gonna how to see talk. when she, I drop that shit. Yeah, yeah. She My be, first thing going finna drop is called "Don't Give a Fuck," and y'all all finna get a, a peek of Bree Smith. Wow. So Tony, what's going on? Will Rich, you? Mm-hmm. I mean, Tony, the new Tyler Perry. Oh, okay. What is you doing? <laughs> you make movies too, huh? Yes. Yes. I have sir. a show. But I mean, are you writing? You write? Yes. Yes, I write my shows. Everything. I write my scripts. Um, I organize everything. I also know how to edit the videos I mean, as well. No, you can act put, real uh, good. Organizing yeah. is producing. I mean, real good. Yeah, I can it. act. I can make. <laughs> okay, because one beats. thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Tom, don't say you organize. Say you producing it, because that's yeah. what it is. I organizing mean, is producing it. I'll that's an accolade. Yeah, okay. you need that on okay. your name. But, yeah, but I want to ask you about you see, on Tyler Perry. Wears a dress and he acts as if he's a woman. You and he say he's not gay. I think I'm not for sure. But anyway, can you act the part of a married husband? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell no, 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 no. Can this I say this? No, no, no. You you gotta be an actor. So you right? You, you got, <laughs> so can you act like you married to a woman and y'all pretty much got a child and you basically? Can switch up style. Yeah. Wait, no, Tyler no, Perry. He's acting. Wait, Tyler Perry. Uh, he act like a man yeah. and he act like a woman. Oh yeah. Well, see, look, the difference between me and Tyler Perry is Tyler Perry. Can you do it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Can you do you got, it? You got to be able to switch up. That's acting. Hell yeah, he could do man, it. What a goddamn script. Shit. I think he could do it. You think you can? I gotta hear it from him. He just be in his head. I think he can do it. Y'all don't think he can do it? I can be a gay crew. <laughs> you think he's too past? He's too, too, he's too far gone. He's he too far Bro, gone. You, you can gone. talk like a man. Okay, talk like a man right now. Stop. Don't uh, do that, boo. Yeah, he do it. He do it. I'm going to be your bitch that's trying to fuck with you. That's right. Let's go. This is a good script. Check her, Tony. What's up, daddy? Can I have a hundred beans? No. What you mean, no? Hell no. You got to say no. Hell no. I'm a rob this nigga. Come on, let me try this again. Hell no. Put your gas in there. Can I have a hundred beans? No. What you mean, no? Hell no. You got to say no. Hell 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 no. Nah, you gotta make him approach you. I'm gonna be like, look, yeah. look, Tony, boy, look that fine. Yeah, hey, get yeah, Tony. yeah, okay. Go get a Tony. And you a, a real down actor, so I already know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> get a Tony. Okay, go get him, man. Okay, I, I, well, I, how I, you gonna I, approach it? I, I, no! <laughs> <laughs> you lost. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the way you that's approach them damn body. That's, not that's cool. how you gonna hit me up at the strip club. Now let me see how you do it again. Come on, Tony, go do do that, 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 do do that, 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 what up? Uh, what you gonna say? He can't get no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get no pussy for me. <laughs> can't get no pussy. He can't get no pussy. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> you have that? Okay, you got that. It, 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 it had do it. millions of dollars riding on the line. You gonna have to, to do just, it, bro. It to, when the Krypton just turn on, when it's just ready to turn on, it's just. Man, you gonna have to be able that's to That's the only one I cannot force out. So I can Supreme, do. if they offer your artists a million dollars to play a you role. You got to convince them. How you gonna train your artists? To we, we, every day. Uh, we gonna always. go? Yeah, he ain't got no choice. You okay. got to do it. He getting trained right and now. And you will be willing to do that? Yes. All right, this this, this shit come with sacrifice. I'm, I'm, yeah, it come like, with it like come with compromise. Some... It come with sacrifice. Yeah. Me and Supreme have been through a whole lot and a whole lot of artists that came in and out. Most of the, not all of them, but a lot of the artists Supreme was in. I tried to you know dip in and help him. Like I said, we always I been always like that. But every Supreme, last one every last one of them, no cap. But you know, like that's why I rock with him. Cause like I said, he consistent, yeah, he persistent. He gonna be on it. You know what I'm saying? I can I can go away out of town for six months, come back. Supreme gonna be doing what Supreme do. I want something. I you gotta, know what I'm saying? I gotta ask for you sure. something else. Like, like for you, like give give me some. Uh, I understand some com- some complicated, uh, uh, different situations where you had to go in and and because you have to go in and what they call it when you go in there to audition, when you, where you had to go in and audition for a part. I don't know more. You ain't never busy. auditioned in your life? <laughs> Come on now, tell the truth. <laughs> no, no, no. And early on, you you a that nigga that like to go no get it. That man crazy. Man, Look. you okay, had to audition okay. one time. Okay, I'm going to give you the scenario. Okay. Seven Streeter was a singer. Seven Streeter was a singer. 
her manager said I was perfect for a role. I met 7th Street and through Lucci. We was at Detail. L.A. L.A. Working on future album with Detail, working on a couple albums. And um, I, they said I would be perfect for a part. They asked me to do the part. I went and met with the lady. My, 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 my mouth drying the bitch I just smoked. <laughs> we went and met with the lady, and she was like, improv right now. And I was like, what's the scenario? And she gave me a scenario, and before I said the next word, I was already improv -ing. Damn. And she was like, Oh yeah, you're gonna be perfect. And she called the director. Boom. This is crazy, cause I got this tattooed on my face. What'd that say? TMG. TMG. Okay. This is where that came from. So I went to audition. Uh, well, that wasn't an audition. I did that on the spot. She called the director. He said, You got the part. The day before we filmed, I met the director for the first time in Beverly Hills. We sit down and had breakfast. And he showed me the script for the first time, the real script. Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at it, and my introduction words was, What's popping, blood? I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to do that. Said, well, wait a minute. I, grabbed, I said, who's saying that? And he said, no, that's your line, it's a character. I said, man, I don't give a damn, I'm not saying that shit. And he said, man, it's a movie, you know? I said, look, Snoop Dogg played many parts, he played many roles, but he never had to compromise his true character to play any of them roles. You know what I'm saying? I was a, I was something else before I was an actor. So I'm never gonna compromise that because I got a following before that. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, and my morals ain't letting me do that shit, period, off top. You know what I'm saying? So they already had wardrobe and everything. Man, the director said he respected it so much. Shout out Doug Jordan. Shout out Fresh. He uh he caught a wardrobe stylist and told him to take all the red stuff back and get blue. Damn. That's and hard. And she was like, I already put everything on the credit card. He was like, well, go buy it again. He gonna make and, sure you right. Nah, for real. And then I end up signing to him. We done made millions together. Shout out to Doug, man. We went crazy, man. That's hard, no man. Yeah, but th th those are the stories that that people need to hear. The the people coming into the game, man. So like like there's you got a lot of them because you yeah, done did a facts, lot of things. Facts, like yeah. wh which one of those situations you got into when you was about to make some music or something, and you know I had, I done interviewed a lot of people. You know that. Mm -hmm. So like where you might have went in and. Did you? I mean, y'all. You always. You don't write. You want them niggas say I don't write. Y'all niggas get on my nerve with that though. I don't write. I don't. I just go in there and just go. You know, like write on a piece of paper. Yeah. I ain't never seen that before. So well, I get okay. on my telephone on the notes and type it in. That's different. Okay. So tell me, <laughs> when you go in there, have you ever went in there and, and heard somebody spit something? You be like, damn, I got to man, bring you it. You got me. I got to up, bring it, man. Listen, I'm always thinking like that. I ain't. I'm look. One thing that made me so hard, boss. I ain't never, ever, ever worried about the next nigga. I'm so confident in the nigga. I'm, I'm so motherfucking ice water with this shit. Well, whatever I do on a bitch with the rapping, with the however you want to take it. I'm just, what I do, I do. The shit I ain't good at, I just don't do. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. act like I do it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But the shit I can do, yeah, nigga, I'm standing on that. On that. And you better ask, ask him, boy, Supreme. Now, he have, already he ever, told have you ever seen me? I'll be in the studio with your favorite rapper and they hadn't had the time. Mm -hmm. I, see, I don't need to see, I don't like get to talking yeah, like I this. Get to talk I too see much. what I'm saying? Because then now I don't want to feel like I'm holding nuts on nobody because yeah. I appreciate every opportunity and every person. But at some point in time, the recognition got to be given. You that's know what I'm saying? And all. I don't want to be the one. I always realize it's less respected when you're the one saying it. So I'd rather other people say it. I done seen you. I, I mean, like I said, your acting skills superb, nigga. I ain't, I ain't playing with you. Appreciate nigga. it. I seen you in that show. My wife, you know, she made me watch it before oh, we came yeah. to interview you. Yeah. I said, this nigga really get down, nigga. Yeah. Ain't nobody playing. This one, like, you see low budgeted films, bro. Yeah. And the way you came across, you can tell when nigga can't act. You Correct. know that. Immediately. Come on, my nigga. You I hate like, it. that nigga's not acting good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was, <laughs> I'm not acting. Was I acting good just now? That's your, you, you just both been your girlfriend, right? I am girl. strong and girlfriend. He's talking about like. girl. <laughs> oh, man. He tripping on his eyes for real. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't no way you, that wasn't real. You okay, wouldn't do it again. I'm going well, to do it again. I'm going to do it again this time. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. Okay, right. this both be your girl. You both okay. are going to pull up on her. you going to say, uh, mm. you know, you you for the Mac on her. And she say she was at no, the strip no, club. Fuck that. She this say she was at the strip okay. club. Yeah, you been calling your girl phone. You supposed to be dropping the baby out to you. Oh, girl. yeah. She yeah. talking about she was at the strip club, but you had a location that bitch lying. Action. Um... Mm, a bitch. We don't got no motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got no motherfucking baby together. <laughs> but both, both, both y'all got a baby, and so y'all can relate. Know. Okay, let me. Look, let me right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, Take your glass out. You wanna hey. get real? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. oh. Here you go. The diaphragm. Oh, the diaphragm. Go oh. Ahead. So, 
Oh. Um, you you know I saw that you were cheating on me. Hey, beast you were cheating on me. Man, y'all wild, man. Can't do it. You can't do it. He can't. It ain't in you. Hey, he won't they gonna have to do what they did to Solo. Well, they gonna have to switch some shit around. <laughs> <laughs> she crazy. They gonna have to switch some shit around. I'm gonna do that same performance. Work yeah, for we're definitely in the building. Yeah, I see it, bro. Like, yeah. like the the crazy part is the way talent keep coming out of Fort Worth. It's crazy to me. Yeah. Like the people that that come out of DF Dub, but but Fort Worth, uh, especially man, what I've seen in y'all, man, has been crazy for me these last few years. I've been doing this, and I think that's live. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people, a lot of talent over there. Half Paint was just here the, the other week. You know, mm -hmm. uh, him, yeah, him and. It's been a bunch of them though. It's a litany of them, bro. That y'all, y'all just keep coming, man. I don't. It's some of them that ain't came back though. I ain't heard. <laughs> it's some of them that kind of fell back. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't heard nothing from like Enchanting. It's a few of them over there that I ain't heard nothing lately from. Enchanting still has not gave me my uh, music video. <laughs> okay. What? I'm not Fuck the hell, <laughs> You are my nigga his fucking video. Wow, man. You, I, wait, wait a minute. What Shit, happened? Wrong name. What uh, the hell happened? I just was trying uh, to. I, young I did a song and it's called Wasting Time. I did it with Chan Enchanting, but now I'm starting to feel like I wasted time <laughs> because she did not come back and do the video. She ain't come back and do the damn video. Uh, I mean. And do you know how much. Go ahead. What do you know how much what? What you what? She you, owe him a video. You paid money? She owe me a video. You paid I her? Just, I, I love her. Well, I mean, I don't love her. Yeah, but we I, love I just you. want her to just come and we do, do the damn We do love you, video. but you still owe him a video. I just want her to come do the damn video. This is business. I don't care. We not friends. Yeah, come just just come and do the goddamn video. How did video? you end up meeting up? What did he even get her to work with you? Actually, she, I used to see her like, you it's know, Tony I used to see, she used to tune into my stuff. I used to see her like when I would go live or if I had some stuff going on, she used to watch. So Tony, don't you got like a TV show? Yeah. What's it called? She was on the my TV show. What's she it called? called? It's called, to well, it was called Tony's Cabaret. It's, so it's, okay. it's, it's not called Tony's Cabaret no more. Okay. But she was on the show. Did I hear something? Didn't you have like a, a, a app or some? Or uh, some yeah, I had. I have my own Tony Rivers Network. Do you app. know that? I didn't know. I knew he had. Nah, a, yeah, I, I didn't know that, about that. Like, that was the first thing I ever heard about you. Yeah, they was like, cause you know, I've been on reality TV, so they were like, you know, it's somebody doing the reality, woo -woo -woo, and they were telling me about it, and then. Of course, Supreme telling me about it. Mm -hmm. So I started looking into it and they were like, you got an app. I was like, damn, we got, that's hard. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Ain't so nobody out here got no That fucking was the first album. thing. Before I even heard any music, anything, I heard that. But you know, in, yeah. in LA and Hollywood, it's a lot of gay people that's in the film. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, that fit. That was like, okay, that's him. And then when he started rapping, I was like, oh shit, this the same. You, you then after all that hard work of making that app, I became a gay crib. The 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 name took but, off before the. But, but I'm trying to figure out like 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 how did you end up making this app and and how did you end up you know building this whole. I hired thing? a production team and they created the uh, platform, the catalog, everything that I needed, like the categories, like uh, drama, film, all the stuff over here. They did all of that stuff, so I paid them and they gave me my app and I started promoting it. And now Tony Rivers Network in the building. I realized from this man, <laughs> that movie and TV money, and that TV fame, and movie fame, and money is a lot, you know what I'm saying, yeah. different. It's different, man, and it's, it's, it's safer, and it's and it's, uh, it's whitewashed. You know what I'm saying, it'll get you in a lot of doors. You know what I'm saying? The it'll, film? Yeah. Okay. Well, and I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, I had the song with Chris Brown before I ever got on Love & Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. Imagine I got a song with Chris Brown, like Michael Jackson at our time. And this is when Chris, this is a little bit, you know, back when Chris Brown was even more hot. And shit, I got on Love and Hip Hop, bro. And shit, I might have went places and took as many pictures as Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched. Off of TV. I watched they like, that's for love hip hop, love hip hop. And it's like, damn, I'm like, motherfucker. Especially I gotta. when you was on there, that's when everybody used to be on TV bad. Now everybody be on social media mm -hmm. and apps and shit. But back then, everybody used to watch VH1 MTV. Yeah, yeah. So. that's what we was watching. What do you think about the, about the writer's strike? I, ain't, I don't do no writing. I don't got nothing in common with a writer. But, oh, I must see coming off the top of my head. But when you think about it, I know that, but I'm talking about for the film, man. <laughs> 
The people who nah, ain't getting their money. I ain't gonna lie, that's slowed down. That's slowed down. That's what I was saying. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, man, and I wanna say, and I want, and I got something to say. Whoever shot that, whoever shot and the that TV only series. I'm not saying that because what she Whoever shot the TV series, whole phase, I, I ain't gonna say it because I want, y'all might got another job for me, but y'all know I was supposed to play a character, Pol uh, Polaroid, but uh, the, the writer strike. Ah, oh, that COVID then the writer's strike, it kind of slows stuff down, man. I really wanted to do that role. This ain't like a cold role. I know. But catch me on Cold and Windy. Yeah, Right for sure. now, catch but me on Cold and Windy. On Amazon Prime, Apple TV, uh, BLK. Yeah. I didn't really know what no damn writer's strike was. Face on Love called me and said, man, I told you they done did a damn writer's strike. I said, what the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> he say, man, them niggas, they making the money, you know, on the, the, the internet. They ain't they taking away the essence of what's really going on, you know what I mean, in film. They not want to pay people. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. For real, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, it really hurts some pockets, but if you got... You know about that residual. You know about the, oh, cool. the yeah, about the, the, the mechanical. sax, the sax, the, the a sa you talking about the sax? Yeah, being, yeah. yeah. The he sent me pictures of all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, the union shit. I didn't know nothing about this stuff. Uh -huh. I met this nigga, man. He told me all the stuff about how you make money in, mm -hmm. in, in film and in, in TV they and all that. They take all your damn money though. They take a lot of money in Texas in their film shit. Yeah, I'm but then you, me. I didn't know that you could have like a. a like you could set up a pension and, and, and have everything set up here with medical, oh, yeah. health, well, that's part all of that stuff. That's part of being in the that's union. That's right. I union, didn't even, union. I ain't know this. Yep. Like, you know, when you're doing movies and stuff, they got an organization and structure that basically really is, really pretty much shows love to that, what y'all do. You know what I mean? For as like a job, really, it just sets you up for the future. Mm -hmm. So, so I always put a little bit in, you know? Yeah. What's your next, what's your next? Still with the show, which is uh, Tony uh, Weary show. Uh, with the Tony Weary show, um, it's kind of on. I'm not gonna lie, it's on hold right now. I know I got the reunion. We are gonna do the reunion, but as far as season three, everything is kind of like on. Uh, We're doing uh, casting calls soon. Oh, Tony. Oh yeah. That. On hold. Okay, we, we doing the casting calls. Yeah, put the bass in your voice. We, we <laughs> so we're we're going to do the casting calls. Oh first. oh um, shit! Yeah. Man, Tony said we why, gonna do it. I want to know why every time you do the deep voice, you turn Caucasian. <laughs> it's like the deep voice. Like why you on deep voice to stay nigga? Like you get deep when you go deep voice, you turn just straight Caucasian from the Caucasus <laughs> Mountains immediately. You just go there. <laughs> I, who, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens. Stuff just happened natural. With me. We your keys. Uh, with, she ain't know. trying to hear it. With me, everything just happened. I got, natural. my kids like studs. They, they look like <laughs> girls, but them is niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that's your baby? Yeah, that's my daughter's. That's one of my daughters. How many daughters you got? I got two. Two? And you, is this a little girl we this got? This a little boy I got. Oh, so you done. I'm done. Two I tired. knew y'all. You, you done. I'm outside. You're me. She, <laughs> I'm she outside. crazy. That little boy going to melt her. She, <laughs> she, she <laughs> tough. You with think you tough. That little boy going. That little boy going. Where you going? Uh, uh, you uh, in the damn interview. I don't think I'm going to whoop that ass. <laughs> no, man. I let you go whoop them kids in the front. We better, we better man, end this fuck thing. Fuck them um, kids. Because my baby is going to get a whoop. What the Fuck them kids. Man, like you Y'all, 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 hell of a parents too. Y'all whoop, you whoop kids? Oh, he you can go to jail. See, I don't whoop my kids. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> I mean, I don't whoop them. No, yeah, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I just <laughs> my whole <laughs> life, my, my whole life, I got my ass whooped. Me too. But I ain't gonna lie, man. I be looking at my mom like, how the hell could you? I can't tell my kid, man. Yeah, when I, I be look, it's like when I be wanting to whoop his ass, he do some. I a can't. Different, different I'm time. like, how could you do that? Like, I, just, I, I don't be like, know. Why you talk to your kids like that? Oh, yeah, well. But I don't know. My son ain't got to the age to where he really like bugging too hard. I, don't, I can't speak for the rest of his life. But as of yet, you ain't had to get on him. Not too hard. So, okay. You gonna have this baby? You finna come out? What? What's you, you, you? What? Give me the scenario. You had a baby in another month, September, right? Mm -hmm. Last quarter, we come into the new year. What? What? What are you planning? What are we doing, Supreme? We got a TV Damn. show. That's what y'all gonna be working on. And and y'all, so y'all for the replay. music is just that's, that's that's easy. Like we got um, we gonna work with Solo on some stuff. So that y'all really the TV and the movie thing is for the be entertainment acting. period. Yeah, yeah entertainment oh, man, thanks. it's entertainment man. I like that man. Hey, I'm we got really a comedian. 
Yeah, we got some stuff that's getting ready to come out, <laughs> but I really don't want to talk too much uh, about because people the buy one it. thing. Though it's they one buy thing this. that I win. got that I'm getting ready. No, no, no. I'm talking about that. No, these folks. This ain't the happening. Idea is the you not go. You can't make nah, this nah, shit. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you well, could. No, well, yeah. shit, that's what I thought when I died. Half my goddamn face, but niggas was still popping up with blood, shit, and shit. This right here, They gonna pop that. Somebody gonna pop out. Y'all good. You ain't got to worry about. They right. Right here with it, and you got dang me already been doing TV. All it takes is a little action. Yeah, this shit yeah. for the go, man. You're, yeah, I'm watching it. I'm pulling yeah. up. Well, so we got one thing that's getting ready to come out that I expect that to be my next hit item thing that we're coming out with or whatever. I don't know what to call it. I don't want to say it without giving it away. So I got something that's getting ready to come out, and y'all be looking forward to that when the No Jumper interview come out. Wow, so that's when it's you probably gonna be out by now. It's out. It's out now because you know now is gonna be like the future when you release this. So, so you telling me you said some on no jump, but it's gonna come out. Well, but you can't tell me. Well, no, really? I, n- no, not that. I'm it's saying that. Going on, I'm man. saying I got something that's gonna come out like a little bit after the no jumper interview comes out. Okay, and it's going to do. It's gonna do exceptional. I'm gonna it's tell gonna you right well. now, since you talking, you know, when y'all start hollering that no jump and all it, I'm gonna beat that anyway <laughs> oh, with yeah. this interview. You did beat it. I'm a bad it. nigga. It don't matter about it's about the people. You man, I ain't giving I ain't worried about no nigga letting nobody <laughs> cock hold in the water. You let me fuck your dick, <laughs> man. I ain't get the hell wrong with you. No, boy. I'm talking about when the t- episode come out and you ain't got, getting, and you didn't get no money. You paid him. him. I got damn on this fool. hoe. Y'all niggas in trouble. Do you know what you in right now? And I'm over here acting a damn fool. So it's gonna go. <laughs> well, no, I'm talking about I got something coming out after the no jumper, not the he no. He said basically fuck that interview. He don't <laughs> want to hear it. Look at Yeah. Say <laughs> so, hey, we, oh, yeah. yeah, we we for the rock all that. This is the South. And oh this, yeah, we on the South Side. Yeah, this a whole nother <laughs> level down here. So, hey, we on the <laughs> this South Side. Is in. <laughs> Cuz is in yeah, <laughs> Jupiter right now. He got them goddamn yeah, Star Trek shades like on. Them blood. motherfuckers in Jupiter right yeah, now. Yeah, Tony. She's supposed to say, I'm from the South Side. A little bit. A little bit. So, I mean, what, when, when this, I'm going to be watching for this. I'm going to go, you got old episodes up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you can go on Facebook. Where can you find it? Uh, 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 go to Facebook. Well, um, let me see where I want y'all to go to. Uh, go to the what app. What the fuck? <laughs> go download the app. Uh, but go to, if you want to watch it like regular, just go to Facebook and type in Tony Rivers Network and then you can watch How about the this? last All three the episodes. Is the link in your bio on Instagram or something? I put it in there right now. All right, so go, <laughs> so tell them where to go now. Okay, now go to my bio. What's your Instagram page name, uh, Tony? Uh, at Tony Rivers. How you spell it, Tony? T-O-N-Y <laughs> W-I-I. L L R I C H. This nigga drunk. <laughs> Man, I don't know what the that fuck. Nigga wild boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you telling me that you got an app, right? Yeah. That they can just go on Apple or anywhere. They can go on the iPhone and download Android it too. Yeah. What's, Android. What's the name what's of the, the app? What's the name of the app? Tony Rivers Network. And you just on that app, just acting a fool. I can only imagine. You got season three coming soon. We season. Can start doing casting calls, auditions. Season only three coming back is who Tony? Bree. Bree. And Kiosha. And you gonna put Lucci on there? Don't worry. <laughs> you said I'm like. women on TV show. Yeah, I can. He put- said doing what? No, no, no. Even if you don't do that, we, that other thing that we supposed to be doing, we doing that yeah, for sure. All right, yeah. We gonna we gonna definitely. But we can't tell y'all. We can't tell y'all, but we got some work. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. But but I definitely uh help with the. The, with the show still somehow, yeah, somehow. Yeah. you know, somehow, I, I'm yeah. definitely, you know, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm being real with Solo Lucci, man. Y'all watched him act, right? You yes. seen his acting? Cold, ain't he? Mm-hmm. We watched. Nigga, I natural. watched him get into it with some girl on a, on Instagram. You no, into no, some act, girl? You talking about really acting? I got really real TV on shows TV that show. like really acting, like movies and stuff. You ain't seen it? Like really acting, you not never reality. Seen it? TV oh what? Oh uh, Wendy, what's that one? I, I said TV. yeah. Now y'all keep repressing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he said it was God on the Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. On Instagram. <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 they try to go through it. my phone. And, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the TV show. Oh, that's the yeah, TV we watched that one. That was a. That was a yeah. So, I mean, how much preparation goes into that? You just, because they cutting. Don't try to act like they don't cut an action in that old. They have to stop. Some people ain't good enough bro, to do one bro, take. I'm bro, I'm like, Jake, bro. That's what they call one me, take. Jake. No cap. 
Man, I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's just understanding energy. You know what happened before, you know what happened after. You know what I'm saying? Understand how to create the energy that's needed in that moment. Did you, you know what I'm saying? Did you watch, uh, I went down to Houston and watched the uh, Next Generation uh, Dirty Third. Did you watch that? You ain't never even watched it. What about the one up here, the, uh, what they call the one, Triple D? You ever watched the one? About three movies. Yeah. It ain't his movie. I think it was he movie. just a he in it. Yeah. Man, have you, you never seen, seen none of these movies? The big, the best movie right now out. I advise, encourage everybody to go see is they clone Tyrone. Yeah. I seen that. You just watch it all the way through. It's, it's, I did. Y'all think that shit really asleep. happening? I, of course. You fell asleep. At of course. Bit. You had to. You had to. Because the best part was the end. It was just so, they did it so clever, bro. It was really like. So do you believe. I mean, the first you, thing I thought about Popeye's chicken sandwich. Did you think Jamie was, was really a. Uh, uh, when he was sick, was he sick? Some Man, people that's say my boy. Shout sick. out, shout out, Jamie. Some that's my partner in real sick. life. Some people say he wasn't sick. I, I, I didn't get the person to talk to him, but in real life, that's my boy. Shout out, Jamie. Man, so you don't uh, know what's going on. I don't. I don't. But I don't think shit was wrong with him. With Jamie Foxx? Yeah. Cause why is it a question if somebody down or not? You know, if a motherfucker is dying. Oh yeah, he went into a coma. Girl, he ain't go to or something like that. <laughs> what? Hey shit, he's okay. He's healthy. He's in the next movie. He finna be in the next mermaid or something. <laughs> <laughs> because I know when the, when the movie came out, he came yeah, out of like, his like, eyes and he did that nigga. He's a hell of a marketer. I, I know he's a bad motherfucker, man. He's you, a, can't you, know, rap, you can't out act this nigga. You can't out. And he thought the best nigga. part is yeah, in I'm LA. The best yeah, part is in LA. Nothing. But oh, yeah, that nigga did. Th- but that nigga did stay out of pocket for a minute. I love to have that risk, like where nobody can come see where I'm at and and don't call my mm-hmm. damn phone. Nigga ain't had that kind of break in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because anybody would have called him, it would have got out. Hey, that nigga wasn't talking to nobody. But see, nah, that ain't. See, Jamie Foxx got a lot of active friends that be around him. They like yeah. li- damn near live with him. Like I done been over there and they live there damn near. Like came from Minnesota yeah, Society. Yeah. Re- he down there stay with Jamie Foxx at his house. Yeah. The role I played in this TMG thing, Kane from Minnesota Society see me at the gas station was like, I that's know you from that's somewhere. Nigga hell right he there. said, I know you from somewhere. He said, I seen your movie at Jamie Foxx's house. Doug showed us the movie. He said, you gonna get the net out of Gangster Road for the next 10 years when they see that. And that was like one of the biggest acting compliments I ever got in my life. From that nigga. He was like, yeah, you know, I stay over there with Jamie. Well, I'm over there with Jamie. That's what he told me. So I done been over there in multiple actors. They be over there. It's like a gathering point. So somebody knew. Somebody, somebody knew, knew something him. for shit they show. They were holding him down. You were holding him down because he a real one. That's hard. I mean, that it's good to have some real good good friends, right? Yeah. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> how can people get a hold of you if they trying to reach out? So you can follow me on Instagram. And then you'll see Supreme Ball. It is his name in my bio. You could just, cause I don't, I'm, I don't DM people back, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck. You so be Drake Beyonce. Jump in your inbox, I don't give a DM fuck back. about his fat ass. I don't. Who? He said Drake. He said, said somebody else. I mean, Drake. that's what's going viral right now. You know, they talking about how they interviewed like 150 women that was with in, with somebody, and mm-hmm. every one of them said Drake tried to take them. Yeah, Drake is not my type. Drake inbox me. I'm going to respond. <laughs> Drake is not my type. I'm going to respond. Drake inbox me. I'm going to respond. <laughs> you you, you going to respond? And Beyonce. She just said a prince said if it was Beyonce. Uh, yeah, I'll respond. You, you going to respond? Yes. Boy, Beyonce is not my <laughs> type. So Beyonce said, hey, Tony, what you going to say? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this, man. I don't know. I don't know. I swear to God, who turned to a worker that day? Oh my God! Supreme, how you? How you? How you do this, man? How you? I mean, he ain't I got, got no choice. He just be having to shut up and just let us do it. And we it. be getting into it too. We all be getting into it. That's a good team. That's he be trying team, to be my daddy. He be trying to tell me to shut up, lose my attitude. I be like. You was not giving me no dick. Like, you cannot tell <laughs> me to do that. <laughs> he just be talking, but we fuck with the nigga. No way. 
This is this is classic four word shit. This is what goes on behind the cameras and four word kind of conversation. Oh, man. We, uh, you want me to tell them? What song? We got a song coming out with uh, Nina Loretta too. How you telling them some shit that's on my? I just EP? asked you if you wanted to tell them. I didn't tell you to say <laughs> shit. Didn't say right, shit. But, but I'm just saying, is that real? Like y'all y'all do got? <laughs> he some just stuff? over here dry talking. <laughs> like what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? I, so, do y'all have a song coming? He done told it now? Yes, we have a fucking a little cute song. It go hard. It do, it I'm do. I'm saying it. You want to listen to it? Yeah. He definitely going to listen to it. You going to listen so, to look, everything. So, so I want to know. So, what rapper did you come up uh Crushing on it anyway. It gotta be. Don't, 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 don't. Crushing on like growing up or who I, who, who my rapper Christian is? Right now. Well, I don't got no rapper crush I mean, right now. Come but on, don't give right me the ego answer. I'll be, boy, you know how long just I had that guy. One, look, look, look. One. I'm finna be honest, time to tell you, I ain't got dick in like a month and a half. <laughs> I'll be playing with my clit every night. You gonna break that <laughs> motherfucker. Man, I, I don't even got no more feeling in this motherfucker. And let me tell you, I be trying to think of somebody that could just like, oh, who could eat me up right now? And hate me. Uh, and it be nobody. My head be just, I hate niggas. This baby daddy made me hate everybody. But so the nigga that I, I like who? Who would I would get this pussy to? If it, if it I, I don't know if I catch a little bum bum, but young boy. Young boy. Oh, oh, hey, I can't love, but oh, them they yeah. love. Hey, they oh, love no. you. They love them to young boy. Yo, yo, I don't know boy. what could do it to him, but he keep doing it, my know. nigga. We they might have gotta catch a little bum me? bum. Not just playing, but I like yellow niggas. So any yellow niggas, you tatted, you yellow, you hood. I talk shit, so you can put me in my place. I like you, like I'm yellow beezy. Fuck no. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What like if I got going no. there, man? Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. I'll fuck Freddie before I fuck yellow. No. Oh man, this show. But been... I wouldn't fuck neither one. They too big for me. I'm little. <laughs> My Lord Jesus, this here is a show that uh, I never seen it coming. I got told it we're rich in there. Tell so, so you a fuck Drake. Yeah, yeah. It's when he look little. <laughs> I got to close it down, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, the, that's the cue. That's the cue, that's the man. Motherfucking Say, cue. so, hey, Tony Will Rich, Supreme, Bree, Big Solo, Solo. Big Lucci, Solo Lucci, the Don is in the building. Lord. Man, it's been another great Lord, segment, man. Lord, Listen, Lord, man, y'all better tap in, man. Uh, it's going down on Boss Talk 101, man. Some of the coldest to do it is in the building today, man. Supreme Fort team Worth. in the building, he Man, said. Fort Worth in the building. Boss Talk 101, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk.